Following on from the news yesterday that the Freakin Group had agreed a deal to buy Everton Football Club, Dan Freakin and Ryan Freakin last night released a statement for the club they currently own, AS Roma, uh, to reassure their fans. This is what it said. The potential addition of Everton to our portfolio does not alter our focus on AS Roma. If anything, the multi-club symbiosis will only help Roma. This was to reassure the Roma fans uh, that the Everton takeover doesn't affect their club in a negative way. It is going to be interesting how this develops. Obviously, they've owned Roma for a number of years now. Um, the Roma fans will will know when they entered into negotiations for Everton and then sort of pulled out. That that's what happened with their club, so there was always a chance that the freaking group will come back to the table and actually purchase Everton. So they will be well aware uh, that this was a possibility. Um, the multi-club group, you know, the multi-club model, it's it's prevalent in football now. Sharing of resources and all of that kind of thing. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But obviously, you know, a reiteration to the AS Roma fans that the Freakins are fully still behind. Uh, you know, that project, I'm sure it'll give them some comfort as uh, they wait and see how it develops with Everton. Following on from that freaking news yesterday, Everton Football Club of today announced a multi-year partnership with corporate payments company Corpay Incorporated. Uh, that sees the brand's cross-border business become the club's new official foreign exchange partner. Corpay, a globally recognised leader in corporate payments, connects diverse businesses and industries around the world through their innovative, award-winning cross-border solutions. Through the partnership, Everton will be able to utilise a world tra world-class trading platform to process cross-border payments, migrate foreign exchange exposure from their day-to-day -day business needs, and manage global payments from a single point of access. Corpay's cross-border business will also support the club with currency risk management through automated payment systems and foreign exchange services. Richard Kenyon, the Chief Commercial and Communications Officer at Everton, said, We are excited to welcome Corpay's cross-border business into our expanding partnership portfolio and look forward to working with them over the coming years and playing a part in their business growth. Uh, the latest, obviously, partner to uh, go into Everton's portfolio. Obviously, the more of these they get, the more positive it is more money from diverse number of sources coming in is always a good thing for the football club. A powerhouse delegation headed by the government's Lisa Nande, MP, Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sports, visited Everton New Stadium during the Labour Party's annual conference in Liverpool. Ms Nandy, the MP for Wigan, was accompanied on the tour of the club's new waterfront home by Steve Rotherham, the Mayor of the Liverpool City Region, Andy Berman, who is an Evertonian, but also the Mayor of Greater Manchester, and Jay Bottrell, MP, prior to their attendance at the conference, which is regarded as one of the biggest political gatherings in Europe. Colin Chong, Everton's interim CEO, said it was great to have the opportunity of hosting the Secretary of State and uh, Lisa's Labour colleagues at Everton Stadium. I'd like to thank Lisa, Steve, Andy, Jade and all the civil servants for taking some time out of their busy conference schedule to see this important development for themselves. There you go. And finally, on some team news, Jared Branthwaite, Nathan Patterson, Vitaly Michalenko and Adrissa Garner Gay were all back in full training ahead of Evans' big game against Crystal Palace at Goodison Park on Saturday. That's it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you want to become a Toffee TV Premium member, links in the description and the QR codes on the screen now. See you later.